I'm Lorna from Korean with Love and I'm a trained carrying consultant. Mm. And this special video for World Breastfeeding Week, we're going to look at feeding in a carus. Mm. So this is the beautiful mm. Starry Night mm. Nebula carus mm. that I'm wearing. And I've taken the hood off just now just for mm. so you can see. I think my nice cross passes. So for an older child at first, we're going to look at an upright feed. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo my knots at my back, I'm going to bring my passes round and I'm going to loosen off, okay? So I'm holding my pass, one in each hand and I'm just loosening off a wee bit. I'm going to loosen off the buckle on my waist so I can lower baby down just a wee bit, you don't want to do a lot. You can do a little bit at a time, take your time. So I've lowered him down and brought him to the side that I want to feed in. And now I'm bringing these cross passes down, crossing it under his bum, I'm not spreading the passes, and then coming around and tying in a double knot. So he's still gonna be nice and secure. Okay. So then, oh, put it on here, the milkies. I'm just gonna let him latch on. Okay. So he's latched on, he's got a hand either side cupping the breast and he's still nice and upright. So he's still in that nice upright position with his bum nice and low and those knees nice and high. So he's not changed his position, it's just lowered so he can feed. So with an, with an older baby you don't need to give them head support unless you want to or you feel that they need it. Um, because he's got full head control, he can easily support his own head in the upright position and latch on and off as he needs. He's quite happy there having a wee feed, so I'll just let him have a wee feed and then we'll look at repositioning him. Okay, so once he's finished, we're just going to reposition him. So I'm just going to bring his bum up into position. And with the other hand, I'm going to undo the knot. Okay. And I'm holding both. Oh, hang on. You're stuck. I'm going to hold both of my tails behind me in one hand and pull down to secure them into that upright position that we had before. Okay. Tighten your waist belt. And then just go in and finish your carry. So you can either just do the straps over or you can spread your passes. If you like to spread, don't we? So always reposition and retighten after a feed. You sleepy? Okay. There we are. We're back up right. So the upright feed would be from about four or five months up until toddler age. Um, once baby is a wee bit more head control and they're more comfortable with that. If you're more comfortable with a cradle feed, then it's still possible. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna loosen, undo my knot, bring my passes to the front. So I've got one in each hand. Loosen my waist belt slightly. And I'm just going to do the same thing, but I'm not bringing them as low as before, so I don't want as much slack in. So I'm bringing them down kind of halfway towards my breast. Passes over, and then under, and tie. Okay, tying a double knot so it's nice and secure. And then the um, side that I'm going to feed on, I'm going to bring my arm underneath. And now I've got space to bring him up on that shoulder. Okay, take your time and support, baby. Okay, and I'm just going to feed both legs through the opposite side. So like we did on the bairn as well. Okay, and I want to support his bum and as much as back as possible. Mm -hmm. 
and bring them into position. So this strap from the opposite side is going to be really loose, so I'm just going to guide it round and let it sit there. So you will have a lot of slack, so you'll have to control and hold baby a wee bit more in this position. It depends how much slack you put in to start. So he's a bit of a wiggler, and then you can latch on. So the same again, latch on, both hands cup in the breast and support the head. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to go back into the upright position. I'm going to bring this pass up on my shoulder and I want his leg to go outside the panel and under that pass. As well. So just take your time, get baby back into position so that it in properly and fully. Yeah. So I'm going to scoosh his bum up a wee bit and tighten my waist belt and then I'm going to undo the knots with one hand behind me so that I can re-tighten them. So I'm supporting baby's bum here at the moment. I'm holding both passes in one hand and tighten to get baby into position and then go back and do either just pass them over or you can spread. So we're going to spread again. There we go. And always reposition and re-tighten. Having baby upright after a feed is really good because the heat from your belly is going to help with digestion. Gravity is going to help get that milk all down where it needs to go and prevent any reflux or any pain after a feed. Okay. So if you need any more help you can get me on my page or you can um, contact Clan OSHA or the website and subscribe so you can follow more videos for like this for this week. Okay? Is it Tata?